Welcome to Jam with Dr. Terry, where Jam stands for Jesus and me. I'm Dr. Terry, children's pastor for Faithful Central Bible Church. Hello, children. Today, we start a new series called Back to School. You've already begun a new school year, and hopefully you will learn all kinds of new things and make new friends. School is important both in the classroom, Monday through Friday, and also on Sunday in children's church. We have to learn how to live God's way. So in this new series, each week we will learn something new some wisdom from the book of James. It's in the New Testament. That's over to the right in your Bible. Today's lesson is all about how to handle suffering. That's when trouble happens, when bad times come, and when things just don't turn out the way we would like them to turn out. So, what do you do when you have a bad day? When things don't go your way, when trouble comes, and you don't know what to do. Well, the answer is found in our verses for today. James chapter one, verses two through four says this. My brothers and sisters, you will face all kinds of trouble. When you do, think of it as joy. Your faith will be tested. You know that when this happens, it will produce in you the strength to continue and you must allow this strength to finish its work. Then you will be all you should be. You will have everything you need. Seriously? Are we supposed to have joy when trouble comes? Yep, that's what the Bible says. Now, you may be wondering, how am I supposed to do that, Dr. Terry? Well, keep listening. Are you ready? When trouble comes and things aren't going your way, instead of focusing on the trouble or the bad things, focus on the good things and what's going right. Here's a little help. Breath check, breath check. Are you breathing? Ah, yes. If you are breathing, have joy because you are alive. God gave you another chance, a do-over. There's joy in second chances. Can you walk, talk? Yes, have joy because you can use your legs to go for a walk and talk to God. He wants to spend time with you and hear all about your troubles. Give him the chance to solve them for you. Okay, here's the last one. Can you see and hear? Yes. Then have joy. Look around, see the beauty that God has made. Look in the sky, see the sun, the moon, the stars. Only God could do that. See the trees and hear the birds chirping. They are all God's creation. Look in the mirror. Oh, how beautiful you are. God made you. You see, we really can count joy when we are facing trouble. There's always a reason and a way to count joy. Take a deep breath, look around, listen, and even take a walk and begin to trust God for whatever you're going through. And thank God for his love that never ends. Children, thank you so much for joining me today. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. I'm Dr. Terry, and I'll see you next time.